Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, what we're going to do is make something that's pretty unique and cool. And I get it. Not everyone is going to uh, want to do this particular type of editing. So if that's not your thing, that's all right. You go ahead and click off the video. But if you want to check it out, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So here inside of Alma Photo Raw, we have a image. And all you need is any image. This technique works with any image. All right. So the first thing that you're going to do is create, or at least for me, is uh, create a background layer. So I'm going to go with a yellow one since that's already red. And we're going to drop this right underneath the uh, original image that was inside of on one. Then we're going to click the layer mask and hit invert. This hides every single aspect of this particular image. Now, what we're going to do is paint back the image into uh, our photo. So if you see there, I'm clicking and this looks weird because I'm not using the right dot or the right brush. Now, based on what you want to do maybe this is how you want to repaint the image right these little circles uh, that kind of overlap each other and this is essentially the way that the effect works right so this could be cool depending on what type of photo you're working but that's not what we're going to do so we're just going to go ahead and reset that hit invert and we're going to come up here to our brush, all right? This is where the real fun comes in. Select one of your custom brushes. Now, if you don't have any custom brushes, you can go to Google and type in free Photoshop brushes and then install them into On One Photo Raw and you'll have them here. Now, what I have is a watercolors uh, brush set and then I even have a uh, painter Photoshop brush set. Now, the ones that I have the most fun with are, of course, these watercolor ones. And you can make them whatever size you need to make it. And look at how cool that is just to paint that in, right? Now, what you can do is you can change the angle of the brush. So I'll make it about 40. So now, and go right back over it. And based on what settings you have for your brush, uh, with the mask, you're going to get a different effect. All right. So maybe we want less of the effect down in these areas, right? So we'll go something like that. All right. But now I want to really define this. This is where you can bring up your opacity and just start making clicks in the area. Oh, I drug my mouse. You don't want to drag your mouse. That's one thing that it just won't yield good results. I don't recommend it, right? So if that's not enough for your taste, what you can do is choose a different brush. And I'm going to come up here and I'll select this brush here. So now I will increase my flow a lot more and maybe make it a little bit smaller just so I'm filling in certain spots where I want more of that detail, right? Just like so. And maybe a little bit there. But now I'm starting to really paint in this image and bring back our subject, our main subject, uh, in a unique way, right? So now that I have my mask painted, maybe I want to change the background color from yellow to let's say green. So I can right click on or select this layer and then right click on the layer icon and click edit color. And I want to change this to green so I can put that over there, hit okay. And look at that, I changed my background to green. Now, the creativity with this is endless. You can do all kinds of stuff. What you can also do is I could add on the color fill layer. I can hit effects. I can come over here to add and add, oh, not tone enhancer. 
We don't want to enhance the tone. What we want is to enhance the texture. So now I'm adding even more texture into the image. So we can go with something like that. And it doesn't look the greatest, but this was really just to show, like I could do a replace and now maybe that works. And you can scale this up to make it a little bit larger. And if I wanted to, I could paint it away from this area and you know really make some creative art pieces. Hopefully you found that helpful. And if you did, smash the like button. If you want to see more content just like this, consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Otherwise, stay tuned and just be on the lookout for more videos. Until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.